Hi YouTube, this is Fred again. I'm afraid I had to remove one of the videos I had made showing how I made my mithril uh, armor into chameleon armor because the video messed up after I would made it I guess and there was absolutely no sound and since I don't know how to actually work my movie maker I just figured I'd delete that video and start over again using my mage but I wanted to show you that I made all five items with uh, chameleon so you have 100 percent chameleon and if I stand back you can't see him but if I take off one of the items you can see the blurry image of him you can actually run into enemies and not be attacked in the with 100% chameleon but I'm going to show you with my high elf mage how to do it I just figured I'd start by showing you this this way you have an idea and if you give me a minute like I said I don't know how to edit so things are going to be a little odd for me doing this you guys will probably get it right away I bought different colored outfits for my mage. I'm wearing red right now. If you're using just the clothes, like I'm going to be using for him, the only place you can get hoods that I found has been. Uh, oh, what's his name? Give me a second. I'll get to it. It's in the in the market district. I think it's Rindeer Staffs. He has the clothing for mages as well. But I bought three different colored. Uh, hoods to go with the outfits that I have. Uh, yeah, reindeer steps. And I bought a number of, or I bought a Grand Soul Gem and I created 40 from that one with the Uh, duplication glitch and then I went to the dark fisher you have to have the soul trap spell when you do this so that you can make black soul gems. If you can't find enough grand soul gems that are filled with grand souls, you can come here, just outside this cave, and at night, after you put your soul gems inside,
if you get the, the uh, right knight, the correct knight, I should say. You'll see a purplish pink light shining on the altar. It's not tonight, so I'll try it again. You have to make sure that that light is shining on the altar so that when you cast Soul Trap, you turn the, the gems into black soul gems. Then you can just go to like the mines or wherever and soul trap the enemies before you kill them to fill them with black souls. Nothing. I should wait again. I keep forgetting this is not like Skyrim. You don't have to keep adjusting the number of hours. It stays at the last one you put it at. No. I think it can take up to a week to do this. To get the right night. There are I think three places in the game that you do it. I know one is a castle with necromancers somewhere south or north of Skingrad, I think it is. It's been too long since I've played the game. I don't remember where all, all the locations are, but there's a couple of these altars. And you can do that at each one of them. There are, I think, six bandits in the mine right next to here that you can kill. Still not. You'll notice the difference in the coloring. You'll see the hue, and when you look up, you'll see it focus almost to a point. That's when you'll know you have the right knight, and you can change the gems. Tonight either. It doesn't take that long. As you can see, it's only been, what, two minutes? And I've gone through about five days or so, I can't remember. Multitasking is not one of my specialties. <laughs> so, when I'm doing one thing, it's hard to do another. There we go. You can see it comes to a point. Now that with him in there, oops. And you'll need, I think, level fifty or better. If you uh, don't have a mage in order to cast this more than once, unless you have a lot of magic potions, and then you can just keep casting it and creating more soul gems. Every time you cast it, you make a black soul gem.
Wait a minute. That's what they were saying. Oh, there they are. I put the wrong ones in there. See, I did it five times, got five more black soul gems. making my soul gems. Now I will take and let me see. My destruction spells up top. I should get some bandits. Because I think they come back about every week or so. I don't see nothing here. Maybe not. Might be a couple of weeks. That's how you fill your soul gems. Once you have all the soul gems you need, The, the mine isn't very far from the dark fissure. And that one, I don't think I checked. But anyway, you come down to the Arcane University. You have to get all the recommendations to be able to get in there. Once you're way into the university, then you can go in and create your communion outfits. Oops, wrong side. That's all right. Down here in the second door. No, this is the one. Carnation, yep. This is where you make the items. And you take the altar, add item. Just can choose. Add Soul Gem, Black, Chameleon, okay, 20%. Excuse me. I just ate a few minutes ago. Yeah. 
and then that's how you make your items. With normal clothing, you can only do four items because I haven't found gloves in this game. That's okay. Give me a couple minutes. Let me finish off my outfit. Because I'm going to do the ring next. Or the ring wax, I should say. That'll make... Uh, It says blouse, but I need a shirt. Now, I've got four items, that's 80%, and I'll do the ring. Okay. Now I have to put it all back on. And then it's one hundred percent chameleon. Without going all the way through the game. From here on, the game's a breeze. In case you're wondering, I bought the uh, house in skin red. That's why I got the ring of the gray. Most of my skills are up to 100. I need restoration and alchemy, which I haven't really done. I do restoration when I'm running around a little bit. I'll do a few spells and stuff, do some more later. But uh, 
I haven't, haven't even worked on my alchemy. But you can see I, I did, I've got 18 for fame because I did the uh, Knight of, Knights of the Nine quest. I'm going to make the necklace uh, water breathing. I'll probably make two different necklaces, one for water breathing and one to increase my intelligence. That way I have more magicka. But I think I only have one necklace right now, just the jeweled one. Yeah. The bow is for doing soul trap. The arrow of jolts I picked up at uh, Fort Nickel on top of the wall outside. You'll find a skeleton there with a fine steel bow and I think it's only one arrow of jolts, and then just uh, use the glitch and make more. Remember, oops, remember, after you get the staff of uh, the Everest Camp, come to Vilvren and uh, build up your weapon and destruction skills. It takes a few, probably for everything uh, about 12, 13 hours. Not really sure. It's been so long since I've done it. But I know it took about two and a half to three hours with my wood elf to build up his archery skill. And it probably took less than that to build up the mage's destruction skill. I think I'm only at 50 for the bow skills. Marksman. Yeah, 50. That's where I stopped on him. Because I wasn't really concerned about the marksman skill. Since I knew I would be playing invisible most of the time. But I'm going to uh, create another video soon and show you the places where you can build up your acrobatics really quickly. Like in the uh, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. You go through the double doors that leads down to the sleeping quarters. You go down the steps, turn right, you'll see barrels and boxes in a little cubby. You jump up on top of them, get to the wall, crouch down, and just keep jumping up and down right there as, about as fast as you can. And you'll build up real quickly. There's also a castle that I still have to get to. It's somewhere down here. And it's got a, like three or four mages or conjurers in here. They're wearing the blue robes. There's one spot where you can go go down into the room there's a few steps up into a, an area where there's two sleeping areas on each side and you can go around behind that where you find one of the mages 
but in that area with the two sleeping areas, it's got low curved walls or ceilings. And you can just crouch down there and do it too. Let's see. I have nothing in this area. The closest I've got is this. Let me go outside. Oh, I forgot I was going to build, make my. Item. Necklace. Soul gem. Come on. Why breathing? Now, I've got all the items I need. Whenever I get in here, I always create an open spell for very hard locks. This is the Praxodoxical Center or whatever it is. And uh, I call mine Master Key. Okay. There it is. Open the very hard lock. So you can open any lock except for the ones that need a key. And I use that all the time. This way I don't have to bother with the others, other open spells. I also uh, created a longer Night Eye spell. Pretty short in it on this character that I called Cat's Eyes. Cat's Eye for a hundred seconds. This way, I don't need torches or the spells like candlelight. But I do get them when I and he's running a mage because I tried to get all the spells I can. I think I've bought every bought every spell that there is to buy. I think I can only get spells now. Like in order to get uh, it's either one or two from Irana and Coral. I have to steal back the book um, Fingers of the Mountain, the quest you get to uh, get the recommendation from Coral. And you're over here, the head mage gives you a quest to find out what Irana wants and then you go back tell him, and then you come up here to Cloud Top, find the book on the, the dead body, bring it back to him, and he gives you the recommendation. But in order to get another spell or two, you have to take the book and give it to Arana. And once you do, she gives you, I can't remember if it's one or two spells. More spells. 
but I'm pretty sure I've got almost all the other spells that you can get in the game. And my character right now is It's only level two. I think you only have to sleep twice in the whole game and you can run through the rest of the game at level three and that's doing every faction because I think I've completed the game on level three before. You get more powerful items when you're at higher levels. But you can run through it at these low levels and still complete the game. Once I find that castle, I'll put up another video and show you where it's at so I can show you the place I'm talking about to build up your acrobatics. For now, I'm going to say so long, and I'll catch you in the next video. Happy gaming!